All right, thanks, Netta. California's historic five-year drought has ended, but Governor Brown just signed two new laws requiring cities and water districts to set permanent water conservation rules. KPIX Science Jessica Flores live in Oakland this morning with some of these new restrictions. Jessica. Hey, good morning, and yeah, we're talking about those long showers and uh, long bath times, possibly washing your clothes too much. Those are the things Californians will have to kind of pull back on with these new laws. Now, it asks cities and water districts to set new conservation rules, and it basically means Californians are going to be the first in the nations to face some of these tough new uh, water use limits. The efficiency standards are controversial because it puts a cap on how many gallons a home can use per day, even in times of no drought. Initially, by 2022, the indoor water standard will be 55 gallons per person per day. By 2030, it falls to 50 gallons per person per day. According to the State Water Resources Control Board, in 2017, last year, Californians used an average of 90 gallons of water per day when you combined indoor and outdoor water use. I get it. I understand that we're trying to preserve, but 55 gallons a day with a child and just every day having to wash clothes, that's just, in my opinion, not feasible. Now, the new law also requires water districts to perform stress tests on their water supply, basically to watch out for water leaks. Cities and districts that don't meet goals face fines up to $10,000 a day. Now, it's still unclear how they'll actually get folks to comply with some of these new rules, whether or not water districts will put in incentives for folks to cut back on their water use. That's still yet to be determined, but state officials say they're also working on figuring out what those limits would be for outdoor water use, and that should be set by October 2021. Reporting live here in Oakland, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.